In the last video, we created a call to action block and manually added it to the sidebar on the left. But the problem we have now is that the CTA block is essentially hard coded in the sidebar. What if an editor wants to control if a CTA should be displayed? Now, I know you can remove the block using the block layout page, but you shouldn't expect an editor to go in there and start fiddling around. Let's now modify the article content type so that an editor can select a CTA directly from the article edit form and any referenced blocks will automatically appear in the sidebar. The first thing we need to do is allow an editor to reference a block from the article form. And we do this by creating an entity reference field on the article content type. Let's do that now. Go to structure, content types, and click on manage fields on the article row. Click on add field and select other under the reference group and enter in blocks as the label and click on save and continue. From the type of item to reference drop down, select custom block. The field needs to know which entity type it'll reference and you can only reference a single entity type and change this option to unlimited. This will allow editors to select multiple CTA blocks. Once configured, click on save field settings Scroll down to the reference type field set and select CTA. This means that when an editor searches for a block using the autocomplete field, only call to action blocks will appear. So leave everything as is and click on save settings. Now go over to manage display. And what we need to do is disable the field so that it doesn't appear in the content region. Remember, we want these blocks to appear in the sidebar, so it's outside of the article. So simply click and drag the blocks over to disabled and click on save. Now that we have configured the article content type, let's create an actual article. So click on content, add content and article and just create a test article. Test article with CTA. I'll just add in some text in here. But more importantly, we have this blocks field. So if I search for the CTA which I created previously, it should appear as an autocomplete. I'll select it and then click on save and publish. At this point, we are just referencing the blocks. Now we need to display them somehow. We can display the blocks in two ways. First, we can use views, and second, we can use a contributed module called field block. Let's look at implementing this using views first. So go to structure, views, and click on add new view, call the view CTA blocks, and check create a block checkbox, leave everything as is, and click on save and edit. What we need to do in this view is create a contextual filter which we'll use to load up the article which you are viewing and simply render the attached CTA blocks from the blocks field and that's it. And we'll also configure the view so that if no CTAs were selected then the block won't display. If this sounds confusing just watch. Click on advanced and then Click on add next to contextual filters, search for ID and select it and click on add and configure contextual filters. Select provide default value and from the type drop down select content ID from URL. This will tell views to grab the content ID from the URL. So if the URL is node slash one, it'll grab the one ID or node slash two, it'll grab the two as the content ID. Then click on apply. And we can test this just by passing in a contextual filter here. So I know that the article which I previously created has, has an ID of node one. So if I enter in one, you can see that a test article with CTA appears. 
I've also gone ahead and created another article with no attached CTAs and that's node two. So if I add that in, you'll see that it loads up an article with the title of test article without CTA. So let me just change this back to one. The next thing we need to do is configure the fields. So click on add next to fields and search for blocks and click on add and configure blocks. From the formatter dropdown, select rendered entity, leave the view mode as default, but click on multiple field settings and change it to unordered list and click on apply. Okay, don't forget to remove title because it's no longer needed. Now, if we go down to the preview, you can see the CTA which we attached is loading up for the first article. If we enter in node ID 2, you'll see nothing is getting returned, but the view is still loading up. But no CTA is returned because I'm not referencing any CTAs in that article. So let's just save this to make sure everything's saved. The next thing we need to do is set up a relationship with the attached CTA blocks. We need to do this because we only want to load the article if CTAs are present. So to create a relationship, just click on advanced and then click on add next to relationships and search for blocks and then click on add and configure relationships. Make sure you select require this relationship. This will make sure that the article will only load if this relationship is met. Then click on apply. We also need to change the pager. So by default, it is set to five items. We need to change this to one. So just click on five items and change the items to display to one and click on apply. Because we have a relationship set up, this needs to be changed to one or you will see duplicate CTAs. Now the last thing we need to do is again, click on advanced and click on no next to the hide block if the view output is empty and just check that and click on apply and then don't forget to hit save. Now that we have created the view, let's add it to the sidebar. So just click on structure, block layout, and scroll down until you find sidebar first, click on place block, and you should see CTA blocks under the category lists views, and then just click on place block. Uncheck display title, and in the visibility section, just check article. This will make sure that the view is only loaded on the article content type and then click on save and order that to the top and then scroll down and click on save blocks. Now that we've added the block to the region, let's test everything out. Let's go to the home page and you can see the two articles which I previously created. One has a CTA and one doesn't. So if I go to this test article with CTA, we should see a CTA on the side, which is great. And if I go to test article without CTA, nothing should appear on the left. Great. Now, if I edit this test article without a CTA and enter in and add to, they should appear on the left. So let me just enter in the two CTAs. And just previously, I created a second CTA. And if I click on save and keep published, you should see both CTAs appear. And then if we go back to the home page and go to the test article with the CTA and remove this one, you can see that the CTA on the left is no longer there.